God lives and works today. One of his names is the Lord of hosts, and he is Lord of the hosts of angels. Yesterday and today, he sends out his angels to help those who love him. Do we reckon with their power and assistance in our lives? Listen to today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called Angels Are Real. The singer of Psalm 91 tells us, He will give his angels charge of you to guard you in all your ways. This guarding, helping, and wonderful deliverance isn't something that happened only long ago in biblical times. It also happens today, as many Christians have experienced. Here is just one recent example. A little boy wasn't paying attention as he stepped off the sidewalk onto the busy street, and he was immediately run over by a large truck. Several people witnessed the sudden tragedy, among them a registered nurse. Then, before the eyewitnesses and against all expectations, the little boy crawled out from under the truck and started to walk away. He was completely unscathed, just a bit dirty and scraped. It was humanly impossible. The nurse ran up to the little boy, and after she ascertained that he really was unharmed, said, You must have had a good angel. At this the child looked up and replied, with the frankness of a true child, No, there were two. Such an answer couldn't be doubted. God can never do enough to help and care for his beloved children. And so, especially in times of trouble and catastrophe, he sends out his strong ambassadors to carry out his commands. These helpers surround his children like a wall of fire. They protect all those who fear the Lord and call upon the Father in distress. Heavenly Father, I am thy child. Is there better to be found as such loving union? Oh, how blessed to be with thee, day and night secure to be by thy love surrounded. Although our life destiny and our death are determined according to the will of God, His angels constantly surround us. They are always ready to step into the battle and to fight against Satan and the powers of darkness that are raging over the earth in these last times, seeking to bring about destruction. Angels are real, and they pay attention to us just as that little boy experienced. They live to serve us, and the nearer we come to the day of trouble and destruction, the more ready they are to help us with their heavenly might and power. With great zeal they strive to overcome all blockades and to let us experience their protective aid. Let us ask the Father in heaven ever anew for the protection of his angels. Let us reckon with their presence and thank God that he does command his angels to guard over us. For then we will be able to experience their assistance in wonderful ways. I sing, I sing, God adoring, my praise to heaven I'm sorry. May my psalmody give pleasure to thee. I'll sing of God's care and guiding, the way of his own providing, the path through the night with blessings upright. This program by Basilea Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.